Melissa Mark Viverito. Melissa Mark Viverito, born April 1, 1969, is an American Democratic politician and former Speaker of the New York City Council from 2014 to 2017, as well as Council Member for the 8th District from 2006 to 2017, representing Concourse, Concourse Village, East Harlem, Highbridge, Longwood, Mo described by the New York Times as fiercely liberal. She was elected Speaker on January 8, 2014, succeeding Christine Quinn. Early Life and Education Mark Viverito was born in Bayamon, Puerto Rico, to Antony Mark, a physician and founder of San Pablo Hospital, and Elizabeth Viverito. She grew up in Bayamon, where her mother still resides. At the age of 18, she moved to New York to attend Columbia University, from which she graduated in 1991 with a Bachelor of Arts degree. She received her Master of Public Administration from Baruch College in 1995. Career, Rur. Mark Viverito served as a member of Manhattan Community Board 11, coordinator of the movement to do New York Convicts, president of Mujer's Del Barrio, and strategic organizer for Local 1199 of the Service Employees International Union, SEU, and Influential Healthcare Workers Union. New York City Council After running unsuccessfully against Phil Reed for City Council in District 8 in 2003, Mark Viverito was elected to the position when Reed reached his term limit in 2005. During her first four years in office, Mark Viverito sponsored and passed several pieces of legislation regarding tenant harassment, building safety, greening buildings, and park conservancies. In January 2009, she criticized the voting record of newly appointed New York Senator Kirsten Gillibrand on immigration. During Mark Viverito's second term in the council, she served as chair of the Parks and Recreation Committee and as founding co-chair of the Progressive Caucus. In November 2013, she won re-election to her third term in the council, and her close ally Bill de Blasio was elected mayor. Soon the New York Daily News cited Mark Viverito as the front-runner for New York City's second most powerful political post speaker of the City Council. A grassroots effort to boost her speaker candidacy included social media, flyers, phone banking, and volunteer recruitment. Mark Viverito was elected City Council Speaker on January 8, 2014, at age 44, becoming the first member of the Council's Black, Latino and Asian caucus to hold this position. Her first State of the City speech emphasized reform of the criminal justice system. In January 2016, Mark Viverito introduced a collection of eight bills known as the Criminal Justice Reform Act to reduce the penalty for acts such as violating park rules, littering and public urination from misdemeanors to the civil process. In addition, the Criminal Justice Reform Act also suspended enforcement for excessive noise, which resulted in a sudden spike in noise complaints around the five boroughs, according to data compiled by 311, New York City's complaint submission platform. Mark Viverito sponsored the bills so that young people in communities of color could fulfill their potential by incentivizing officers to give verbal warnings and fines but not remove the option of making arrests. In 2016, Mark Viverito was alleged. As of 2018, the lawsuit is still pending, and the City of New York's motion to dismiss the lawsuit was denied. In 2017, Mark Viverito declined to boycott the Puerto Rican Day Parade after organizers decided to honor Oscar Lopez Rivera, a prominently incarcerated member of FUES's Armada's Deliberation National Puerto Riquina Fowl. 2019 NYC Public Advocate Special Election In 2018, Mark Viverito announced her intention to run for the open seat of New York City Public Advocate, but lost to Juman Williams. Personal Life Mark Viverito campaigned in solidarity with the Occupy Wall Street movement and identified herself as part of the 99% of income earners, despite having a net worth in the millions. 
She and her family inherited an estimated $6.07 million from her father, a doctor. Prior to her inheritance, she applied for a taxpayer-subsidized loan in 1998, when her property at the time was worth $310,000. As of 2014, the multi-story condominium property was worth around $1 million. Mark Viverito rents out her properties, but did not report her rental income. Her spokesman claimed it to be an honest oversight on her part. In August 2014, Mark Viverito publicly disclosed that she was infected with the most common STD, the human papillomavirus. She said she was an extremely private person, but that she was announcing it because she wanted to destigmatize and raise awareness about the disease. Election History